Hello, Beekman Elementary School. Happy Tuesday, May 19th. Talking to you from my front porch, so uh, get outside a little bit, have a change of scenery for you. Um, I think I should title today's episode Mr. Lapras's Bloopers and Confusion episode. Here's why it's because I feel like my brain has short circuited the last few days. Some examples. On Friday, I forgot Brianna's birthday. Her birthday was on Sunday. And I didn't announce it on Friday. So, uh, a mistake. I hate when I do that. Then, during the staff parade, which was awesome, by the way, but when we had the staff parade, I was uh, driving my car with the Beekman Bear hanging out the roof, and I looked out the window, and there's Ben Masterman. And I yelled to him for some reason, Hey, Talon! I don't know why. I confused him with Talon Rampola. But it's Ben Masterman. So, Ben, I'm sorry. Then, um, yesterday morning, I got up early, and I saw that I had trapped two chipmunks that were living under this porch that I'm on right now. So I've been having these chipmunks, they're digging up stuff, and I'm getting tired of it. So I set some traps, and I caught them. And so I got up yesterday morning, and I saw these traps were full, and I drove them out to the woods, you know, a few miles from here, get them away from my house. I released them in the woods. I came back, and I started doing schoolwork and other work, and I forgot all about making the announcement, which I make every day, every morning. And I forgot. So... Yesterday afternoon, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to make the announcement. I felt awful. I really did. I pictured many of you going online, you know, clicking the link to my YouTube channel, looking for the announcement, which I've made every day since school's been closed, and there wasn't one there. You're probably like, what's going on? Why didn't you make an announcement? You know, and for those of you that had birthdays or whatever, you're disappointed, so I'm really sorry. Um... I'm really sorry that I missed the announcements. I'm sorry to Brianna. I'm sorry to Ben for making that mistake. He must have been like, why did he just call me Talon? Um, so anyway, I don't know what's going on. It's got to be something with this online, being online all the time. My brain's getting fried. But I'm going to fix it. I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to do a better job. All right. So got that off my chest. So this is kind of going to be a combination of Monday announcements and Tuesday announcements. So... Let's get back to, let's pretend it's Monday. If it were Monday, what I would be doing is asking you, what'd you think of the parade? For those of you that got out and saw the parade, wasn't that awesome? I had such a blast. I had such a fun time. We had 41 cars in that parade. We um, had tons of staff members, teaching assistants, teachers. Mr. Amicucci was there. Mrs. Adams was there. It was awesome. So what was really awesome, though, was all of you being out there and cheering us on and ringing bells and making noises and waving high and you had signs and you were just so happy you were smiling you, you you said how glad you were to see us it was just awesome so thank you so much for being there because if you weren't out watching it wouldn't have been a parade right um so it was a great time i want to thank mrs raska for taking all those great pictures um she took a ton of great pictures she sent some to the poughkeepsie journal it was just awesome 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 i'm never gonna forget it i hope you won't forget it um it was just great. So I wanted to thank everybody. Thank you, Mrs. Jazzieri, for coming up with the idea and getting it all put together. Um, thank you to the staff for decorating their cars. The cars looked awesome. There were balloons and paint on it. Mrs. Adams actually gave me one of those um, paint things to uh, mark up my windows. Um, and uh, the Beekman Bear was there. How awesome was that? And I got to have the Beekman Bear get in my car and hang out my sunroof. I got to ride with the Beekman Bear all day. It was awesome. So it was a great time. Hope you liked the parade. Thank you, everybody, for doing that. It's a great time. Um, all right, let's get to birthdays. First one, happy birthday to Brianna Hustis. Brianna, happy birthday to you. It was her birthday on Sunday, and I should have announced it on Friday, Ugh, and I didn't. But I called her on Friday, and I apologized, and she was great. She accepted my apology. Um, I asked her a little bit about what she's doing. She was having cupcakes. Oh, yummy. I didn't get mine in the mail. Maybe it's coming this week. Um, but she was having cupcakes and family were coming over. So they were probably going to social distance a little bit and they were going to share some cupcakes and they were, she was going to see some family. Um, so Brianna, it was great talking to you on Friday. I saw you also on uh, Friday when I did the parade. I made sure I yelled happy birthday to you. So I hope you had a good birthday on Sunday. Um, take care. And again, I'm sorry, but happy birthday. And then we had none on Monday, so I guess I didn't miss any yesterday. But today, holy mackerel, we have five. As long as I didn't miss anybody, we have five. 
Here we go. Madison Multari. Happy birthday to you, Madison. Hope you have a super, super birthday today. I'll be thinking of you. And then we have Ryder Daly. Happy birthday, Ryder. Hope you enjoy your birthday today on May 19th. Have an awesome, awesome day. And then we got Dylan Walsh. Happy birthday to you, Dylan. I bet you're going to get something maybe for uh, baseball. I had something baseball related as a present because you love baseball. I know that. All right, Dylan, happy birthday. And then Cameron Van Dunk. Happy birthday to you, Cameron. You're going to first grade next year, Cameron. So uh, I don't know why I mentioned that. Just thought of it. I know you're in kindergarten now. And you'll be going to first grade next year. Uh, but I hope you have a super birthday, Cameron. I'll be thinking of you. And then Thomas Daly. Happy birthday to you, Thomas. Hey, wait a second. I wonder if you're related to Ryder. You, buy, you guys both have the same last, last name. Well, if you are related, you'll be sharing your birthday with Ryder, and you guys will be doing it together. So, uh, Thomas, congratulations. Happy birthday. I bet Ryder and Thomas, if I were in their family, you know what I'd be giving them for a birthday gift? A football. Something football related. Because I remember back, uh, it was a few months ago, recess outside, those guys, or maybe it was in the fall. I don't remember. But... I remember watching them play football outside. They can seriously play football. They can throw, they can catch, they got the moves. So I bet they're going to be getting something football related. Maybe soccer. I think they like soccer too. But if it were me, I'd be giving them something for football. All right, everybody. Happy birthday. Enjoy. All right, now since I missed the Monday announcements, and today's Tuesday, I said, I don't care. We're going to do Riddle Monday anyway. So this is a special Riddle Monday uh, announcement. On Tuesday. So here we go. We got two for you. Two riddles. First one, and I'm going to give you both answers today too because, you know, that's just the way it goes. So first one, Riddle Monday on a Tuesday. First one, what month of the year has 28 days? What I'd like you to do is pause this right now, pause the video, and talk to your family, talk to your friends, and see. Does anybody know what month of the year has 28 days? Go ahead, pause. I'll wait. All right. You paused, and now you unpaused, and hopefully you said February. But I hope you also said January, and March, and April, and May, and June, and July, and August, September, October, November, December, because all of those months have 28 days. Every month has 28 days. So that's the answer, all of them. All right, next riddle. So special Tuesday edition of Riddle Monday. What invention lets you look right through a wall? Pause the video. See if you can think of this one. Don't look it up. What invention helps you look right through a wall? Pause. All right, you unpause the video, and you've been thinking about it. What would you come up with? Did you say x-ray machine? Did you say special glasses? Or did you say a window? Because if you said a window, that's correct. That is right. A window is the invention that helps you look through a wall. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed those two riddles. Hope you got one or both of them correct. Um, and that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed our special Monday, Tuesday announcement edition um, right here on my front porch. I hope you have a super day. I will talk to you tomorrow, and I promise I will talk to you tomorrow. I will do the announcements on Wednesday. All right, everybody, take care. Bye.